Now, you could stand up all you want to and profess that it ain't going to happen, you know, and many people believe they're going to be taken out of here before this happens. Look, I believe there's going to be a catching away. All right, we call it the rapture. I believe it's going to be a catching away. But, but after my studying, I begin to realize, hold up, I've always been told this rapture is going to take place before any real pain comes. Boy, isn't that easy and convenient for the believer to get up out of here before everything get bad? But then the Lord would speak to me and say, well, what about the Christians in Nigeria? What about the Christians in, uh, 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 in uh, China? What about the Christians that are in some of these Muslim countries that have been suffering for years? What about the girls that's been raped over and over again because of their faith in Christ? They haven't been raptured out. And then what about the scripture that said that he that overcometh shall receive this, have a right to the tree of life. He that overcometh shall be, have white robes. He that overcometh. What about the saints that's under the altar in the book of Revelations that are pleading to the Most High, saying, when are you going to avenge us uh, before, because of what's happened to us? And the Most High told him to be quiet, be, you know, hold on, because more of your brothers in the earth got to go through the same thing. What I begin to realize is that this rapture that we've been talking about that's going to take place before any hard times, the church, you, the church has been set up to believe that they ain't going to go through nothing. But when they start going through it, they're going to get mad. They're going to get mad with the preacher. Why? You told me we're going to left behind. We're going to get caught up in all those other people back here that were back here, the saints who got saved after we left. And that's what we've been taught. But you got to study the Bible for yourself. Jesus had to go to the cross. And he said, out of his word, he told Peter, he said, look, Peter, he said, uh, that you savor the thing to be a man and not the things to be of God. All right. He said, now, you, if a man want to gain his life, he got to lose it. And if he seek to, to if, 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 if he loses life, he's going to gain life. But if he seek to keep that life, he's going to lose life. What does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? So we got Christians today that believe everything got to be great for them. They ain't going to go through nothing and you're going to be shocked. And I believe the Lord revealed this to me. That's where a lot of believers going to turn their back on God. Because they're going to say, hold up, I'm not supposed to be here for this season. My pastor told me we're going to be raptured. When I went to the seminary, they told us we're going to be raptured. But that's why you got to study the word for yourself. I'm telling you, prepare for hard times. I'm telling you, pray in the spirit. I'm telling you, study and build yourself up so you can stand through these dark days. All you got to do is read Matthew 24. But Christ lets us know different things that's going to go on. In Revelations, he tells us about the people being put in prison. Some going to lose their life. And I told you in Daniel, I believe, and also I think in Revelation, it talks about how the enemy, the Antichrist, is going to have power over the saints. He's going to kill a lot of believers. But what difference does it make if he kill you? Your job is to stand strong until that time, whatever it is. Every person that leaves here dies some kind of way. Some die of a heart attack. Some die in a car accident. Some die from old age. What difference does it make how you die? You're going to exit here. In order for you to be birthed into that new heaven and earth, that new place, you got to go through the womb of this world. And in order for you to be birthed out, pain takes place. The Bible says, yea, and all that live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. And so the, the church has been, been set up. No, 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 no. So your rapture might not be coming. Now, some people probably won't watch after this. That's up to you. I'm on here to teach those that want to grow and know. Study your Bible. Believers are going to be here. A lot of believers are going to be here when this tribulation takes place. But then if you read it and go on and look, you see, yes, there's a catching away. But that catching away, when it does happen, it's going to be a marvelous thing. It's going to be a marvelous thing. But a lot of saints are going to die and be tortured and be suffer before that. Now, if that makes you want to give up now and go, and study, go to the world, then that's where you got to go. You didn't really commit yourself to the Most High. And that's what's going to happen. A lot of people are going to leave what we call the church, when they find out that that rapture is not going to keep them safe. By the way, the word rapture, we use the word rapture. The actual word rapture is not used in the King James Bible. It's, it means catching away, which means rapture. You know, so I'm not here to argue that. There will be a catching away, but that catching away, if you read Matthew 24, you read Revelations and Daniel, you're going to see that that deals with a later period of time. Yeah, I've been to seminary. I've been training in the seminary, but the Lord gave me a word back in 2000. A, a African prophet, a prophet from Africa, came to a church I was a part of at the time. He saw me and he looked at me. He said, God says, this is what he said to me. He said, God said he's going to train you because you've been trained. And he began to tell me how God's going to use you to train other people. All right. It wasn't until years later when the Lord called me, because I've had opportunity. People have offered me uh, a, a, church, a church, you know, leader has offered me to church and come and, you know, we'll, we'll build this church and make you the pastor. And you could have, you know, and, and, and uh, look, it would have been something because of the people it was connected with. Man, I probably wouldn't have to worry about how many people going to be on Sundays and, uh, and all of that. And if you look at it like, like a lot of preachers do, you know, these people be coming and bringing tithe. And, and, and I have access to certain speakers that, that, are, that are known throughout in the Christendom. And, and the Lord told me no. That's what he told me. 
don't accept it. Don't accept it. Because he told me I would not be the pastor. My name will be on the marquee and maybe on the door, but I won't be calling the shots as the leader that he's put there as a servant leader. And I said, oh, no. Oh, no. I don't want that. No. I got to be free because I'm going to yield and I'm going to obey. All right. Uh, I'm going to have to end this and uh, come back with the second part of this teaching because uh, cause of the time. But thank you so much. And, 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 and if you could uh, come back when, when the next video is released. Um, we'll go ahead and finish this up. I believe I'm going to call it something like the call to every believer to obey, excuse me, to yield and to obey. But it don't matter what it's called. Right? We ain't got to get caught up in that. But uh, I'm probably going to come back because this video here has been long enough. But thank you so much. And I pray that you're excited about the Most High. Get excited about your relationship. No matter what you got to go through, don't worry about that. Because you're hid in Christ. These disciples and men of old, and the early Christians, they went through stuff. They went through things. Yes, they did. They weren't raptured out of it. They had to go through. Some of them, people cut in half. Some of them, they skint them. Some of them, they lit them up like candles. Why, why is it we, the American Christian, all of a sudden going to get the easy ride out? Anyway, come back and the next time uh, you see a video come up from the Word of Ship. And uh, hopefully we're going to go ahead and continue this. Thank you and God bless you.